Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria Let's Play. We're on the 14th episode guys and today we are finally going to make a bit of a start on uh, trying to figure out where we are going to build stuff inside of our beach town. But before we do that my friends, we of course have ourselves a quest to hand in and it is some more sonar potions we're getting from that which is a kind of awesome i will absolutely be taking that and uh, yeah guys things are looking good guys if i could just say once again a massive thank you for all of the support you guys have been showing on the series i really do appreciate it i'm actually in pre-recording phase right now because the process has started ladies and gentlemen i am starting to pack up things in my house now Bit by bit, little by little, slowly but surely, things are getting packed away. And yeah, that means I am getting rather, rather busy in real life. So you guys will have to forgive me uh, because uh, what this means is I won't be able to respond to your guys' comments uh, very quickly. So yeah. So for example, at the time of me recording this, uh, the latest episode I've been able to see comments from is actually episode 11. So yeah. Been doing a lot of recording, but guys, I've been having a lot of fun playing this game and uh, providing you guys with content. So, yeah, it's been a good time, my friends. It's been a good, good time. So, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to make a start, okay? We're going to make a th the starteth. Oh, yes, we are. We are going to give ourselves, let's say, four trees worth of space. And then we can start placing in some various bits and bobs rather like this good day to you mr sir hello oh there's a whole bunch of you guys huh <laughs> all right well uh, that's fair enough uh, we'll go ahead and dig up this little section here uh, okay this one can be a little bit wider as well because as you guys know we are still in the process of uh, wanting to build ourselves a storage room right so it would be a good idea if we finally got around to doing that but uh, here we go here's gonna be like one of the things right so yep there we go uh, maybe we can have it go up rather like this yeah i mean i'm kind of down to have some irregular shapes I'm super down to have irregular shapes. I think irregular shapes are really, really cool. So, yeah. What do you guys think of that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, there we go, my friends. We're just in the process here of just uh, adding in uh, some little wire frames as it is. Uh, so, how's about we place down a little bit of that? Uh, we'll put down a couple doors, rather like so. There we go. And, of course, we'll go ahead... And to start adding in a bit of a secondary floor, perhaps. So, something like this. Oh, this, uh, okay. So, this base is going to be, like, an odd amount of blocks wide. There we go, because uh, the center is an odd amount of blocks as well, basically. Uh, it's a weird thing, but basically, it's it's maths, and you can sort of just sort of see where the center is, and it's pretty easy. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, so we can have this room be another one, which is really, really cool. Okay. Oh, good day to you, sir. Good day to you, sir. I am not about this life. Please get out of here. I didn't even mean to kill you with the uh, with the vile form, but hey-ho, I'll take it. Right, let's do that. Uh, I mean, to be honest with you guys, we could probably do this to add even more space in here, right? I mean, I am I am completely down with having more space inside my builds, right? I think it just makes sense. It really, really does. Okay. Uh, should we have, like, another little compartment here? What do you guys think? Another little compartment? I mean, this could potentially be like a bit of a tower, huh? A bit of an NPC tower, NPC hotel kind of deal. What do you guys think? I think that could be a nice little idea. So, one, two, three, one, two, three, and that's looking cool. We could put little torches in there rather like that. Ooh. You see, now we're making plays. Now we're making plays. Right, so, uh, real quick. We'll smooth that off. We'll smooth this off. Uh, grab some more torches. Get them all placed in. And I tell you what, we'll go one room taller before sort of smoothing off the top and or making a little bit of a roof section, right? So, yep, there we go. And then up here, we're going to have ourselves a big old roof section of awesomeness. And I tell you what else we're going to do is we're going to add in a little bit of a thing here. Uh, what do you guys think? And a little bit of shape into it, huh? Oh, jeez. Hello. Okay. Yep, that's looking pretty cool. Okay, and then, yeah, this could be like a big dome. Huh? What do you guys think about that? I think that's a pretty cool idea, right? Have a little bit of a dome going on? Yeah. I'm super down with that. Oh, mate. <laughs> I wasn't even intending on actually building full buildings today, my friends. I really, really wasn't. I was just intending on... Um, sort of just doing bit by bit, but apparently we're just sort of doing it anyway. Uh, we're gonna need ourselves some more palm wood though, so, you know, just something to bear in mind. Uh, in fact, to be honest with you guys. Yeah! Ooh! 
That actually works so much better. There we go. Yeah. That works so much better than I first thought it would. So if we get rid of these torches and then we add in the sort of corner struts. There you go. Rather like that. Yeah. That looks more like a beach house to me now. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually really enjoying this so far. <laughs> Oh, mate. I love it when things come together on camera. I love it, man. It's really, really satisfying. Okay, uh, so we'll chuck a couple of torches down in each of the uh, these little places here. Uh, rather like this. Okay, and then like I say, we'll have a bit of a dome. And I think what we'll do is we'll make the dome itself out of glass, right? We'll make the dome out of glass. But in the meantime, I think what could be a cool idea is if we put a little bit of a doorway rather like that. Uh, this is now five blocks wide, so I'll make this one five blocks wide. Boof, boof. Uh, this can be a doorway. And then we'll have some fences leading to the outside here. And then, yeah, the dome will start from here and then go over. Yeah, you see? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. This is looking good. Okay, so uh, real quick. Uh, other way. Yep, there you go. And we'll do the same over there like that. And then we'll put some more doors in. You know, it's all about the doors, my friend. It's all about the doors. So we go back up here. Here you go. Get those placed in. And probably the next thing is some uh, palm fences. Uh, they do exist. Uh, there they are. Yeah. And then we go up here real quick. Place these bad boys in. Oh, they don't look very good. Oh, that does, though. Huh. I kind of like that. But well, then if I make it all like that, then they, it kind of ruins it. Okay, I'll go with that then. That looks like a pretty cool design. You get like a little bit of a mossy design on top of it. That's really cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, boom, boom, boom. Wait, hang on a minute. This is now wrong. What have I done wrong here? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, this is like one block too far along. Uh, it needs to be... Yeah, yes. Okay, guys. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely, my friends. I don't know, man. I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually really enjoying this. I wasn't expecting to uh, enjoy building on camera without any kind of, like, former plan or anything like that. But honestly, this is kind of working out nicely. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, uh, like I say, we're going to grab ourselves a whole bunch of glass next, okay? We're going to grab ourselves some glass, and then we are going to get the dome in. Yes, sounds like a cool idea. In the meantime, I'm going to lay out the foundations for this little uh, area here. And then, you know, we have another space for another build, right? So, yeah, let's just get all this uh, placed in. And like I say, we're going to need ourselves some more stuff. So, uh, I'll tell you what, we could probably get away with uh, putting another build in here. Uh, let's make this one three trees wide. Like, we go up to there. Yeah. Oh, dudes, this is already looking fan freaking tastic. I'm so happy that we decided to make a beach town here, guys. Like, it just makes sense, doesn't it? It just makes sense. Oh, so good. I really hope it doesn't affect the ability to uh, summon in the old one's army too much. Because if it does, then uh, that would kind of suck. But you know what? It's not the end of the world. Oh, talking of which, hello. Uh, underground. Ooh, mutant flinks fin. Okay, we haven't actually gone underground in the snow biome yet. Mostly because there's no actual cave entrances. And also, look at how small the biome is. Oh, this is a really small biome. Good lord. Okay, right, we might skip that fishing quest for now. Uh, in the meantime, I want to get back to doing some building, guys. So, uh, how about we go ahead and we try and grab ourselves a whole bunch of sand. Uh, do we have a whole bunch of sand? Um, like in here? I could have sworn we had some sand somewhere, my friends. It's somewhere around. We've just got to find it, right? Uh, oh, my word. Yeah, the storage system is uh, definitely going to come in useful, huh? Oh, good God above. Well, this is great. I've probably missed it. Oh, yeah, there it is. I saw it. I saw it. I saw the little slither of it. But, guys, believe it or not, we're actually going to need uh, more glass. Uh, so, do we have any, like, do we have any crim sand? I'd be surprised if we didn't. Like, I'm pretty sure we dug up a whole bunch, didn't we? Eh, I can't remember. All right, guys, I'm going to obtain a bunch of glass. We're going to get that dome on the way. And then maybe we can make that dome into the little greenhouse kind of deal, right? Like a little bit of a nature dome. I think that's a really cool idea. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Yeah, awesome. All right, guys, let's get it done. Hey, hey we got the mandible blade from that dude. Well, I can't say I was expected to get that today, my friends. We got ourselves a uh, rare weapon for once. Um... 
Oh, it's full. I didn't realize it was fully auto. Oh, man. If I obtained this earlier in the series, I would have had no issue with just using it. Until I had something better. In other words, the Enchanted Sword. But then again, we got the Enchanted Sword very, very early on, didn't we? But anyways, my friends, as you can see, we're just in the process of digging out some of this here crimson. Because as I mentioned, you can still uh, get yourself, uh, you know, just, just glass out of it. Which is really cool, of course. So, uh, yeah. And as you heard there, I'm utilizing explosive traps. Because why not? The explosives are fun. <laughs> ah... Fan freaking tastic. All right, so you saw the little message at the bottom there. Apparently, the traveling merchant has indeed come in. And I think it might be a nice idea for us to go ahead and uh, see what exactly it is uh, he is selling. So, yes. Okay, good day to you, sirs. I can't even move because the freaking sandstorm. Ugh, freaking sandstorm. That meme is dead. Stop trying to bring it back to Raria. Jeez, dude. Right, uh, I'm just smoothing this out because, you know, we're kind of killing two birds with one stone. We're getting ourselves a nice, smooth world. And at the same time, we're getting ourselves a bunch of resources. Fan free, fantastic. Right, where is the traveling merchant? Okay, it's actually at the correct place this time. Yes. Good. Good. Good, 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 good. Hello there, sir. Right, what have you got for me, buddy? Uh, we've got an angel halo. We've got a tiger skin. Rune walls. Ooh. A cement mixer? Yep, I'll take that. I will also take one of these. Uh, I mean, I would buy these, but they're not exactly the cheapest thing in the world. I mean... I don't know, man. One of these days, we might make, like, a weird color-coordinated town where we have all of the team blocks. I don't know, man. But yeah, look at this. The arcane rune wall. If we wanted to do something really spooky, then uh, I guess we would go ahead and buy a bunch of these. But sadly, again, these are actually even more expensive. So I'm actually going to go ahead and leave them for now. Or do I want to do that? I don't really know. I've only got 53 coins. I kind of want to buy like as much stuff. Oh, that is like super expensive. I tell you what, we'll go for 400. There you go. And then we'll buy a bunch of these. Oh my word. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? I'm spending so much money. Right, we won't need many platforms. I'm going to aim for 200. There you go. That should be enough to build something, right? Right? I mean, I hope so. <laughs> if we ever wanted to make ourselves like a bit of a, a magical mage tower, then these background walls would be perfect. And then, like I say, some sort of weird color coordinated uh, thing as well might be kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, that was a lot of money spent. That was a lot of money. Good lord above. Holy crap. And then, you know, we've got the cement mixer, which is going to be pretty useful if we wanted to make ourselves the, the gizmo, I think it's called. If I remember correctly, I can't actually remember. Huh. Well, anyways, guys, let's get ourselves a bunch of glass. We're going to continue on with this thing. Uh, there we go. Uh, how much? 105. Yeah, very, very nice. Right. The question is, can I remember how to make sort of domes or spheres or that kind of stuff? The real answer is, I don't really know. Um, all we can do really is just go for it and see what we can do, right? So, how's about we go up a little bit like that? Uh, uh, yeah, hmm. I'm not entirely sure about this, my friends. Uh, this is going to be difficult, to say the very least. It really, really is. Uh, so, I mean, all we can do is just sort of try. So, how about we go up like that? Okay. And then we bring it up just one, like that. Okay. Not bad, not bad. That's a good little start. That's a good little start. I think we're going for something pretty good there. Okay. So, this is now going to be going up just one at a time. So that is now perfectly aligned. So that's looking pretty cool. Okay. And then maybe we start bringing it across a little bit. Rather like... Wait, hang on a minute. Rather like that. And then again, up. Rather like that. And then we could probably put a little dink at the top there. I mean, yeah? That's kind of a dome? What do you guys think? Would you say that was a dome? What if we smooth it out a little bit? Would that look even more like a dome? I think that doesn't need to be there, actually. Uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not exactly an expert when it comes to doing anything circular in this game. I mean, eh. I almost think it looks better without them being smoothed out, actually. Huh. 
Okay. Well, whatever the case, my friends, we have indeed got ourselves sort of a little bit of a, a dome style uh, thing, which I guess is okay. Yeah. Okay. And if we looked at it on the mini map, yeah, it looks better on the mini map because of the fact these things aren't smooth. Eh. Eh. What if I did that? Bit of a weird thing, but I could probably smooth that out rather like that and then do something like that. Like, I think that, mm, I don't know, man. I think that looks even weirder. <laughs> oh, so indecisive, man. So indecisive. I don't know what looks good, dude. Eh. All right. I mean, yeah. We'll keep it like that for now. I mean, if you guys can come up with any, like, better designs, then I'd be very interested in seeing them. Like, send them to me on Twitter. But, uh, yeah. That's looking pretty good. And also, we can put some more of these bad boys down. Yeah. Oh, darn it, man. I'm being such a doofus brain now. All right. So, if we grab that, we can actually use them rather like that. Yes. Fantastic. All right, guys. All we've got to do now is we've got to fill in the background walls, get some furniture going, and then we'll be good to go, guys. We'll be pretty much good to go. Oh, yeah. All right. The sad news is I don't have a lot of palm wood left. Um, that could prove to be an issue. But then again, you know, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of wood here. Uh, if I was to just use this as a bit of a farming area and then just plant the trees back down, then we should be able to get ourselves a pretty decent return on investment. I apologize there, Bunny. I didn't mean to do that. But you got in the way of my hammocks' swing. So it's your own fault, doofus brain. I apologize, but it is your fault. So, yeah, get off my back. All right, guys, let's get some uh, let's get some furniture bits uh, made real quick. Uh, where are we looking? There's a table. Where's the chair? Oh, palm wood chair. It's just a little stool. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right, we'll have uh, you going on there. We'll have you going on there. We'll have another crafting table up here, because why not? Uh, rather like that. Okay, uh, three chairs needed. One, two, three. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Uh, should we make this one into an NPC room? Maybe we could put the dryad up there? What do you guys think? I mean, I'm kind of down with that. Yeah. In fact, I'll tell you what. We'll put ourselves another workbench up here. Yeah, that sounds like a cool idea. Because then, uh, you know, we can have the dryer. We could put ourselves like a chest here or something. And then at the same time, uh, you know, we can use this as an alchemy station. Slash, you know, where we have all of our potions made, right? Sound good? I think it sounds good anyway. Bye-bye, traveling merchant. You won't be missed, son. I'm sorry. But there we go. Oh, that's a lot of walls, my friends. I don't think we're going to need quite that much. But I think what I'm going to do... Let me just see how these look. Just just by themselves. Uh, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Okay. So, maybe what we could do is use those in conjunction with regular wood walls. We could put the regular wood walls as, like, the, uh, the borders. And then we could probably go ahead and use the palm wood as, like, the interior, right? Like, the inside. So, yeah. All right. We'll give it a go, guys. We'll give it a go. Hey! A little tree just grew right before my very eyes. Absolutely fantastic. But there we go, my friends. We are giving the combo a go. And honestly, I think it works. I think it works fairly okay, actually. Okay, so let's get the rest of these planted down. Oh, look, there's a there's a sand slime out there. I can't say I was expected to see you there, sir, but, you know, it's all good. <laughs> Oh, jeez, man. Okay, uh, so yeah, that's looking good. There's a couple more walls I want to place in. One right there, one right there. Uh, and do we want to place them out here? No, nah, that's technically the outside, so I'm going to go with no. All right, so on this top section here, guys, we are going to go ahead and uh, place down a whole bunch of of other walls. I think you guys know exactly what I mean. We're going to grab ourselves some grass walls and sort of dot them around inside this place uh, because I feel like as a result of doing that, we'll have ourselves a really good looking room. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Right, so I'll tell you what, guys. While we're going ahead and doing this, we can jump into the comment question of the video, which for today comes from Galrab Limbu, who asks, Hey, Python, which is your favorite mod? Now, I have answered this question before, but for those of you guys who want, like, a bit of a refresher, I guess, then uh, I'm going to give you a refresher. I normally split this question into two kinds of mods. You've got the mods that improve quality of life, and then you've got mods that improve or add content. And in my opinion, I mean, I don't even have to think about it because my answer has not changed since the last time I answered it. My favorite content mod of all time by far is Calamity, and then my favorite quality of life mod of all time is the I'm Sushi mod. So, yes. 
There you go, my friend. That should answer that for you. And uh, yeah, I'm going to pass that question off to you guys because I'd be interested in knowing if you guys have any like different mods that you really like using uh, in Terraria. Like, what is your favorite mod? Leave your responses in the comments area below. But yeah, guys, in the meantime, let's buy ourselves a whole bunch of grass walls. There we go. Uh, we'll go for 150. I feel like that's a pretty decent amount. Yeah. Okay, 150. And we can start placing these bad boys in. And then we can get this thing just about finished. And you know what? I just thought of a cool idea. Maybe we can make these into glass walls. Right? And then we can have these sort of drooping down like vines. Ooh. So let me give you guys a little bit of an example real quick. So if we head up here real quick and we just start randomly placing in sort of a, a, a vine style thing. Rather like that. And then we put glass around it. Right? What do you guys think? Did that work? Do you guys think that could work? I think that could work. Here you go. And then like another bit of grass, or glass right there even. Okay. And then maybe this one could have a flower wall. And uh, maybe also this could like veer off in multiple directions. Yeah, okay. I'll have that one going up there like that. Okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. All right, I'm liking this. I'm liking this, guys. I'm liking this. I think this is a pretty cool design. Okay, uh, more grass walls here. Again, kind of like vines. And then I might just, like, dot a few in the corner here like that. There you go. All right, and then all we got to do is just fill in the rest, I guess. So, real quick. Real quick, like. Should be nice and simple. Okay. And there we go. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Huh? Is that pretty cool? I think that's pretty cool. Okay, and then we can get the dryad in here as well. Yes. Dude, this is awesome. I can't believe we've done this all in today's episode, guys. Like, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Like, honestly, I was going to try and fit Queen Bee into this episode, but I think that'll be done in the next episode at this point, because honestly, I, th I think at this point... We've got to go ahead and leave it here, my friends, because, yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. I'm seriously, seriously happy with how this build has gone. And I hope you guys are as well. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode of Like Rating, as always, it would be super appreciated. Hit the subscribe button, ding that bell as well, if you don't want to miss out on future Terraria content, my friends. But join me in tomorrow's episode, where hopefully we're going to be going ahead and taking on Queen Bee. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.